you're facing a major, major disagreement in what is the leading opposition party in national unity platform today. You're facing major disagreements in the Democratic Party, major disagreements in the Uganda People's Congress, major disagreements in the Forum for Democratic Change, and as you said at the beginning of the show, disagreements within the national resistance movement. So if Museveni were to quit, voluntarily or otherwise, where is it that this country thinks it can anchor itself? I would say this way, that leadership doesn't necessarily have to come from parties. There are many capable men and women out there who can literally take our country forward. When we talk about parties, of course you have your ideology, your constitution and all sorts of those things, but to me it doesn't necessarily mean that whoever is going to take over this country has to necessarily have to come from a party. If there's leaders who feel and wish to do something, let us know them, let them come out. But unfortunately, those I believe are capable of uh, making a change or taking over leadership, for some reason, they're not willing to come forward. Because of that, fortunately or unfortunately, is what you have now is what you have. And you have to work with what we have. And by the way, I happen to have some of my roots from the, from the Sese Islands. Mm. And I, I love the water, I live near the water. And uh, I've seen how the lake performs. We can be discussing right now, and it's a turmoil out, out there. But always it comes down. So whatever's happened to all of us, we are going through this. As far as I'm concerned, FDC is going through a catharsis, the cleansing. Mm. And I believe the best has come up onto the top. And these, these people are going to come out with some sort of a solution to our problem. Because our problem is constant. It's going to continue changing and changing. It is those who are capable of going with the floor, of working out I mean, the problem, and find a solution for a nation that's going to be the one to survive. Uh, when, I, when you see what has happened to other country, I mean, parties, by the way, in groups, that's what, what normally happens also. Uh, some of the groups feel that they're no longer being served but by uh, what they're part of, and they move on. And for me, I have no problem with that. If anybody is part of FDC wish to go somewhere, let them go. You, you're the chairman of uh, the FDC Katonga faction. No, stop saying Katonga, Katonga. I am FDC national, period. FDC national chairman. Okay. Very well. well. We'll take it for that. If you were in the position of the chairman of the leading opposition party in parliament, yes. how would you have dealt with uh, what we're seeing between the former leader of opposition and the chairman of the national unity platform? Whoa. That's a heavy one. Uh, first of all, uh, it's unfortunate to see what happened. But since what ha happened, so much has come to the fore. We've now learned more about how parliament has been functioning vis-a-vis -vis the amount of money that they have and how they've been dishing it out to different people. Uh, I will not come and say that it was handled badly, per se. Uh, this was an internal matter, and uh, I'm sure they did have discussions about it. But I know uh, Punga, and I know Chagulani very well, both of them. And uh, it's, I, I don't see why it had to get to where it got for this particular issue, because this was, but again, we go back to money. You know, our problem also was money in FDC. And you go now to a new money, and probably if you go even to DP, money, but officially probably money. So, Museven has been able to use money very well, okay, to destroy uh, what would have been a very good party, NOOP. Uh, I believe they're going to overcome it. Uh, they have very good people in there, good leadership. 
and uh, they're going to be able to move on. And mm. so will uh, Mr. Mpunga, Colonel Mpunga. He will also be able to, to move on. But as for that, I, I'll say this is more or less an internal matter, which uh, needs to be dealt by them, rather than for us who also have our problems uh, tell them this is the best way you have. You should have done that because they can equally say the same thing to us. So all I can say is it's unfortunate that it's happening to all of us, but we also know there's an arm behind the, all this. And once you recognize where it's coming from, then let's be careful of how we deal with our, ourselves and uh, public funds. Mm. You, your problem in FDC was money, you said. Excuse me? Your problem in FDC was money, you said. Among many things, I mm. think also we had the uh, element of uh, dictatorial, where some people felt that they had the more power than others, and it wasn't a, a, the constitution. They, fought, they refused to follow the constitution, and they started behaving their own ways. And this was very scary for some of us who said, well, we're not even in power, we're already doing this. How are we going to be when we assume power? You, you indicated that, us. yes, you, you did indicate that you could have resolved this yes. a different way before. Yes. And that you did chair meetings. Three of them. Three meetings. In my place, yes. Yes, in Busabala. Yes. To try and resolve this. Yes. Where did you fail? I think the ego, some of our people became egotistic in this entire thing. The either, it was like a, I remember one conversation that took place whereby uh, uh, Nandala stormed out. It's reached a stage, why are you asking me? Mm. This is between, I mean, Dr. Nian. When you were also this, this is what happened. You never mentioned this to us. So it became back and forth and no, there was no winner in a sense. But I really, really tried. But having done that, because at that time, you know, these things we knew about in 2020, okay? Although in 2021, that's when I'm more people started knowing more. And then, of course, after almost two years, mm. it broke loose. But this thing had been there for a long time. And you've been trying to resolve it internally. Yeah, we did. I mm. did very, I mean, I, I sat down with everyone on one-on-one. -on -one, you know, I went around and also talking to elder, some of the elders. But it was one fortune. But for me, I think the most thing that was, uh, annoyed me was uh, Engineer Amriat mm. and uh, Nandala to decide they are going to set up a commission to investigate literally themselves. Mm. And that was not in their portfolio. That is uh, in the view of the, uh, the chair. And I told them so. I said, no, 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 you cannot do such a thing. Mm -hmm. You are being accused, and then you want to, ch to choose people to come and put up a commission. They never listened. And they went ahead. And I simply said, even invited me to be a part of it. Mm. And uh, in writing, I wrote to them. I simply said, no, because this is wrong, what you have done. And at the end of it, it will not satisfy anyone. And uh, I was right, because... Nobody believed what, what they read. In fact, even the commission didn't, never came to any conclusion. It left things like say, well, things happened, da, 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 da. But we had to have a conclusion to this thing. Mm. So that's one thing. The second thing was for Kifefe, I mean Kifes, mm. to bring in these, I mean, hood, I mean, hoodlum into the party. Literally to be the one to guard the party. The ones that made you climb over the wall of the party. The one that stopped me from exiting and leaving the place. And then, I'm yet not being even have the power to tell them to move. And they were listening to Nanda on the phone. And I'm yet was with me and could not even, I even got him, I told him, take me out. He put me in his car. Eh? Mm. And they would not allow him to get out either. We were hostage. Mm. And it, it was getting late. And I uh, happened to be on medicine. I needed to take my medicine. So you had to uh, find an alternative way out. That's how I was made. I mean, I wasn't born in a, with a silver spoon. I've struggled all my life. 
And if you put me in a situation like that, I always find a solution to it. My last question to you. Um, you started your consultative meetings in uh, Honorable Semu Jungandas uh, Kira Municipality Constituency. Yes, yes. What next? Yes. Uh, it was very good. Uh, we were well welcomed. Uh, the, our host, as you know, is very articulate, timekeeper. You know, he's always on time. And uh, we had quite a lot of uh, attendance. And by the way, I so happen to come from Chira. I'm from mm. Chireka. Chireka D. And uh, so our people were there, all of them. And we had a very good discussion. And they gave us their view of how they see the party well, the way forward the party and we took their views uh i said the majority want to have a new party mm. yeah but this is just the beginning we're going to travel throughout the country our next uh, stop is going to probably be in uh, uh ginger eventually in bali and the north uh then we have a trip to mbarara uh, and Kabale. Uh, so we are, we are ready. It's very exciting because, you know, we are trying to create something uh, new and hopefully beautiful. And people are excited about it, by the way, including other people who are in other parties who feel they are no longer fitting those parties. In the, the other things. So new formations are going to happen because why not? You know, it's going to continue, continue, continue until the right, the right mix. If you cook, I mean, I love to cook, by the way. Mm. So, you know, you mix this and this and this, you test. All right, and say, ah, 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 that's not too good. I do this, put more of this. Until we find the right formula, we have to keep on trying. Don't give up. We have to keep on trying until we find the right solution to our problem.